the most important supplements I recommend taking for perimenopause and menopause support are going to be the ones that are going to target the brain, the gut, and your bones. So that's really gets to the core of what's going on with the severe hormone fluctuation and drop that's happening in our body as our ovaries cycle down and shut down and basically stop functioning. So the first one I'm going to recommend is an omega-369. I think any woman should be taking this no matter what reproductive life stage you're in. Most of us don't get enough omega-3s, 6s, and 9s through diet alone unless you're eating a ton of fish, healthy oils, fats, nuts, seeds, on a daily basis through diet alone. Um, and if we're not following a strict Mediterranean diet, it can be hard to get the daily recommended dose. This is gonna help with vision, it's gonna help with brain fog, and it's also going to keep your uterus healthy um, and help the hormones that you have left. So make sure to add this into your diet. I'm also gonna suggest that you take a vitamin D3 with K2. You want to supplement with about 2,000 of IUs of vitamin D3 daily. However, once we approach menopause, we, well, humans are really deficient in vitamin D anyways. Let's face it, we're not out in the sun enough. And unless we're eating fish skin, we're not getting it through diet. So everyone should really be supplementing with vitamin D as we age for women or females, we worry about osteoporosis. So we want to support our bones. So calcium plus vitamin D3 and K2 are critical um, in helping prevent osteoporosis or osteopenia um, and just help strengthen our bones. So 2000 I use, if not more, um, make sure you get this blood work done annually because your levels can fluctuate. And if you're over supplementing, we would worry about your liver function. So really important to work with a health practitioner or something like Bento where it's personalized for you and we can really help you get the right dosage. The next supplement and my last one is going to be a symbiotic. I am such a huge believer in gut health. You know, everything starts in the microbiome. This is where over 90% of the serotonin in our body is made. And as many of us enter menopause, we deal with a lot of mental side effects. So anxiety, depression, you name it. So if we can take care of our gut, we can also uh, support a healthy mind and help hopefully alleviate some of those um, mental health side effects or mood changes that you're experiencing.